If you're trying all of the things on eBay and you're simply just not making money or making the sales that you want, you're trying free shipping and free returns and great pictures and great inventory, all of these tricks to get the algorithm on your side, all of these tricks to make sales on eBay and it's simply not working or not working to the extent that you want it to work, this video is for you. I am taking it one step higher and showing you the one thing that you really need to be focused on on top of instead of in addition to, in addition to all of the things that you're trying and it's not working. And friends, that is going to be your impressions. We're going to get all the way into it, but what I'm talking about is this chart right here on eBay, your impressions chart. What is an impression? An impression is someone seeing your item, right? And this matters because let's talk about the brick and mortar down the street. They probably, they're having a 50% off sale right now and they're giving you a free gift bag with purchase and they have a, an item that you have been looking for forever and forever and forever, but you simply don't know that that store is there or you've never actually been into the store. So regardless of all of these great offers and this great inventory that they have, you're not going to buy from them because you haven't been into the store. And we need to use this principle in our reselling business in eBay to get people to see our items. If you are doing free shipping and free returns and you have killer photos and you have the best inventory out there, if the people, the buyers do not see it, they cannot buy it. And that's why we're focusing on your impressions. An impression is on eBay when someone sees it. If you can work on increasing your impressions, you can work on getting more people to buy your items. Assuming that you have, right, you're doing all of the right things. You have great photos, you have great inventory, you have great SEO, all of these things, you're a killer seller, but your items are simply not getting sold because people are not seeing them, right? So today's video, I'm going to walk you through the traffic tab on eBay what it means. I'm going to walk you through how to figure out exactly what your impressions should be to make the money that you want to make. And then from there, I'm going to show you the strategies and the exact checklist, the exact action items that you need to be doing to increase those impressions. It's a meaty video. Stay with me. Um, it's going to be, it's going to really help you, but it is going to be a little bit of a meatier video. Hey friends, if I am speaking too quickly for you, do feel free to slow me down. You can click up here on your YouTube screen, scroll all the way down to playback speed and put me on the speed that is most comfortable for you. Now let's get back to it. So I am on eBay, right? It's gonna start with understanding what these numbers mean, and then we'll talk about exactly how to get what to do, what number you need those impressions to be to make the money that you want to make, and then how we can what you can do for those impressions, right? So down here, I'm up, I am on eBay, I'm in Seller Hub, I'm on performance, and I'm on traffic. It starts at the very top with people seeing your items. So really understanding what these mean, and then we're gonna work on increasing these so that more people can see your items in hopes that you're going to make more sales, because I know you guys are crushing it in all other aspects of your reselling business. Impressions, this is, so you can look at it for a time period, I'm looking at it for a month, uh, for the time being, I would look at it for a month and you know work on these metrics for a month. Your impressions are someone seeing your item, whether it's from search, whether it's from promoted listings, right? People are seeing it as an ad on eBay, whether it's from Google. This is a potential buyer has seen your listing, right? So that is your impressions. Page views is they've seen your impressions and now they've clicked on the page. They've clicked on your listing one step closer to buying your items, and then you go to quantity sold, right? So it goes impressions, right? They have to see the item first, and then they have to click on it, and then they purchase it. Oftentimes, we're too down here focused on the purchased it that we can't work backwards and figure out, okay, page views, okay, impressions. It starts with the impressions. And then your average click-through rate. This is going to be the number of page views from your listing, right? So from your impressions, how many people are clicking on your page? Right, so it's this 30, for me it's this 30,000 divided by my impressions. From the impressions, how many of people are clicking on my page views? 0.2%. Now your numbers are gonna look vastly different, but this is why I'm going to help you figure out your numbers and exactly what you need to do. So it doesn't matter on what category you sell, it doesn't matter uh, what type of business that you run, understanding these numbers is going to help you get there. 
So your click-through rate is from the impressions, how many people clicked on your item, and then your sales conversion is once they clicked on your item, how many of those converted to a sale? Now I'm walking you through all of these because you really have to understand if you're, we're going to work on increasing our impressions, we need to understand exactly what it means. And then, hey Sarah, what's a good impression? How many impressions do I need? I got you covered. So of course, if you're new to my channel, um, I, I'm a spreadsheet. I, I put it in a spreadsheet. If you're not new to my channel, this is uh, probably no surprise to you. Surprise, surprise, Sarah has a spreadsheet for this. This is for purchase on my website if you don't want to do the math. Also, if you are a YouTube Gold member, there I will put a link in the Gold member uh, YouTube community tab. I'll put a link so you guys get this for free if you are a gold member. If you want to become a member, uh, the link is down below. But like I said, if you want to purchase this, it's on my website or you can just create your own and do a the math with me. But what we're looking at is I want to make X amount of sales. How many impressions do I need? What impressions do I, am I even gate goal, like what, how many more impressions do I need to get to the sales that I want to make? So I'm going to walk you through, like I said, I put it in a spreadsheet. Um, what you want to do is go through, get, go to your eBay and figure out currently where you're at, what your page views are, what your sales conversion is and what your click through rate is, right? So again, come back here, go to your performance tab, go to your traffic. And then in the spreadsheet, it, that you purchase or you're a gold member or you can just write down and do the calculation with me. Um, write down your page views, your average click-through rate, and your average conversion rate. Now, I am going to say before we get into all of the math, this is a rounded number, so it's going to extend. So you, if you put in these numbers, we'll show in a minute, if you put in these numbers, it, you're going to have some error due to um, rounding, right? You may not come up with some of these exact numbers. It's going to be close because that average click-through rate is, you know, it goes on for a very long time. And in eBay, they're just showing us 0.8, right? So once you have this, you can go down and say, hey, this is my sales goal. I want to, I want to sell 500 items a month. Um, based off of what I'm doing, all I want to do is work on increasing my traffic based off of all of the metrics, you know, this, your sales conversion, your click through rate, those are based off of your listings. Those are what your in demand inventory is driving. Those are what your, um, free returns and free you know, feedback. All of the things are making people buy your items. All of the reasons people are clicking on your items are these two conversion rates. So you can work on increasing those. For the sake of the video though, we're working on increasing our impressions, assuming everything else is okay, right? So once you go to your, you increase your sales goal, we're gonna scroll down here and it's gonna tell me, hey, if you want to make 500 sales a month and your conversions, it, your conversion is still 0.8%. My click through rate is still 0.2%. I need 33 million impressions. So I need to double my impressions. Now, cool, Sarah, how do I double my impressions, <laughs> right? So once you figure out a goal and once you figure out, hey, these are the amount of, these are the impressions. If I am not increasing my conversion rate, if I am not increasing my click-through rate, right? Assuming you're doing all of those things great, if you're not increasing those, how do you increase your impressions? And y'all, I have a download for this. This is a new download, so I will put it in the gold member uh, as well. If you're a gold member, you get it for free. It is for purchase on my website. If you've purchased it before. I have made a couple edits to it. Um, so you can purchase again. There's a discount down below or just save this video so you can come back to it. So here we go. How do you increase your impressions? Let me make me a little bit smaller. It starts, right? So this is it's at the beginning of the video. You know, I was saying it starts at the top and it funnels down. It starts with impressions. If you increase those impressions, your page views, your sales conversions, those things are going to also increase because now more people are seeing it. There's two ways to increase your impressions. You can increase your impressions organically and you can increase your impressions via promoted listings, right? So I always, always recommend doing organic first because it's free. <laughs> <laughs> um, and who doesn't love free? We don't want to pay more money, right? We want to make more money. So always work on increasing your organic first. Organic impressions are coming from people finding your items in search. So this is uh, item specifics. This is your SEOs. This is your photos coming up via search, right? With a white background, Google and eBay both say, hey, you need to have a white background for us to be able to pull what it is. 
This, to improve these things, I highly recommend pulling a listing quality report. I'll link a video up here of exactly how to do that and then how to look at it and use it. But the listing quality report is going to compare you in all of your categories to the top 10% of sellers. So every category is going to be different. I'm in women's fashion. On average, eight to 10, maybe 12 photos is what most sellers have. It can go up to 24, but we don't always need 24 photos, right? If you sell in, um, you know, vintage stamps, you probably only need two or three photos, right? And so it's comparing your item specifics to the categories and what you need to do to get that top 10%. Work on making your listings the best possible because that is how people are finding you in search. That You want to come up in search you want people to find you in relevancy and find what they are looking for. That's going to increase your organic impressions, increase in-demand inventory, right? So you wanna make sure people are searching for items that you actually have for sale. If you have this great killer item but nobody's looking for it, it doesn't matter, right? So make sure that you have items that people actually want. I'll link a video up here on how to use Terapeak data because you can actually look in eBay's um, database and they will tell you, not only can you research information and say, hey, I wanna look up this, how, how is it selling on eBay right now? They also have sourcing information that will help you say, hey, these are sourcing opportunities. Um, it's I go all into it in that video as well. And then the other thing is running sales, best offers, free shipping. And let me show you why these items, why these matter. And it's because of you want to come up when people are looking for your items, right? So let's say I am a buyer, I'm going to eBay, I'm searching for an item. Any one of these things, when there is a search that people can click on, any one of these things is going to increase your impressions. It's going to increase people seeing your items. Now, do not click on things just to click on things because if you say, hey, I am going to click on big and tall because I want to come up in that search, but your item's not actually big and tall, nobody's going to click on it. If nobody clicks on it, eBay is going to start suppressing your item because they're going to think nobody wants it. So fill out as many item specifics, as many, right, buying format, auction if it's available. That's why some people say auction. Free shipping is an option. Um, you scroll down here, This, these are all your item specifics on the left, which is why you want to have as many item specifics as relevant to your listing. Uh, listing quality report is gonna help you with that as well. You scroll down here accepts offers. So if you don't have offers and someone clicks on accept offers, now I have only 2.7 million pairs of jeans on eBay, but this has come down and now you're no longer getting impressions because you're no longer in that search, right? That's why all of these things help you get more impressions because you're showing up in front of more buyers. And then once you have worked on increasing your organic traffic to the best of your ability, you have gotten it to the top, I would highly suggest working on some promoted listing strategies. This is going to depend on the category you sell in. It's going to depend on your business model. Essentially what you're doing is you are paying eBay to promote your items, to run an ad with your items on their platform. Promoted listing standards is you pay when it sells. So you say, hey, I'm gonna pay eBay 5% of this sale if it sells from them putting it in front of potential buyers, right? So this is, yes, it's showing at the top of search. If we come over to eBay, you can see down here, um, some of these, the ones that say sponsored, these ones are the promoted listings. People are paying to go to the very top, but it's not just about coming up first in sort in search. Promoting your listings is now, hey, someone clicks on this, says, hey, I like this. I'm just gonna do a quick side note. No, don't use a stock photo. Um, you can get Vero'd, you can get kicked off of eBay unless you have permission for that. That wasn't the point of this video, but I clicked on it and I wanna let you know, um, definitely do not use stock photos. But this person is, says, hey, I wanna buy this pair of jeans. They scroll down here. These are also promoted listings. eBay, if you do promoted listings, they are putting your items in over 100 different places on eBay that is direct marketing. Um, it's not just running an ad in a newspaper hoping someone might see yours. It is looking at, hey, this is a pair of Levi jeans. This is this size, it's, it's similar, and they are putting your item that's similar to what people are looking at in 
front of the potential buyer. It's going to increase your impressions because now your items are being shown in over a hundred different places where before it was only shown in search. So it's going to increase your impressions and ideally based off of everything that we've been talking today, it's going to increase your sales for this reason. If you guys like this video, do make sure to like, save and share and subscribe for more content like this.